Oh. Th this is what we've become now, huh? So many of you have asked us to talk about this, to make a topic out of it, to talk about it on the podcast. I I don't know what to say. Look, anything I say, I'm going to sound like I'm hating or an a-hole. And part of it is kind of like, I guess, justified. But I don't really know how to talk about this. I mean, you guys all saw it. It made the rounds on the internet, um, I don't know, a bit ago at this point. I don't even know when it was. It actually has a date on it, but it was before the date. Either way, though, you guys saw, like, a bunch of Marvel fans. Well, not Marvel fans. Um, Robert Downey Jr. stands. That's what we're calling them. Uh, you know, Tony Stark fanboys. And not even, like, Mitch level. Like, even Mitch is embarrassed by this. But they paid for a billboard that is to pressure... Marvel and Disney with hashtag and everything to bring back Tony Stark because the MCU can't exist without him despite the fact that it's existed without him just fine and without him Sony managed to make a billion dollar movie and Marvel Studios has been recovering pretty good with the TV front and it's going to keep going with the movies but um here's the thing with this uh hardcore fans of anything are gonna be vocal some do this some take it to the extreme some don't it is what it is i understand they these people felt cheated like you can't kill iron man but if you want the universe to have some sort of a penalty for death and ramifications and actual you know weight to it you kill off a important character and they did killed off multiple important characters and they're just trying to tell you this is something that can happen and it adds this whole other layer to the mcu that's like insane it's like oh my god they could actually kill off this character who's to say that next film we don't get to it and they're like oh yeah we killed off the hulk and winter soldier why not it could happen and there's always going to be angry fans. There's always going to be hardcore angry fans that are doing stuff like this. We've seen it. We've seen it on the Zack Snyder front. We're seeing it with this. The Tony Stark fans have been insane ever since Endgame ended. And this is probably the, you know, the most hardcore thing they've done. But what can I say? I can't be angry. Like, I'm, I laughed at it because I was like, this is insane. I can't believe this is what they want. And look, you know... If they would have killed off Captain America, I probably would have been like, oh, god damn. I wouldn't have done this, because I understand, because I also want the characters to keep living and have new roles. Make no mistake, when Armor Wars and Ironheart appears, some of these people are going to get real bad. We've already seen that with, uh, you know, with Sam Wilson taking over as Captain America, some of the awfully racially driven hot takes. It's going to get just as bad, if not worse. Disappointing. Just, at that point, you're not even fans of this. You're just disappointing. 